All right, we're back. Part five, I want to say. Yeah, it should be part five. All right, 76%. About 24% more to go. Hopefully today. Hopefully. Alright. Oh yeah, before I forget, I wasn't able to last time, but I need to go back here and do the Sparks level. Let me just check to make sure everything's sounding correctly. Yeah, yeah, I hear my dumb voice. All right, it's working. All right, where was the sparks level here? Maybe it was around there. Maybe it's like the complete opposite way, but who knows. me a place called Starfish Reef. She says there's an egg hidden in there. I think Sparks should check it out. I am on it. So the first one gave me a power-up for longer range to pick up gems. The second one was the find gems easily thing. Wow. Okay, Patrick, let's calm down. Oh, I'm underwater here. Nice. Um, please. Well, there isn't really much of a penalty when you die. It's just the last checkpoint. First one was a longer range, second one was detect gems. Uh, well, that's right. What is that? Is that leaving behind a mine? No, oh, throwing bombs, huh? And I can't go back. I know one of them is going to be like you can take an extra hit before you die, which won't really be useful because it's very late in the game right now. Actually, it'll be very useful for the, the annoying thing that's coming up today. To those of you who have never played the game, uh, you're going to see like the toughest thing to do in this game. Other than the Yeti thing, like this is another very difficult thing to do. Dropping my bombs everywhere. What the hell is that? Like a beetle? Anyway, so 
And basically, like, the other hardest thing in this game is... Well, there's multiple difficult things. Uh, another one is the Agent 9 shit you have to do later on. But other than that, with Spyro, you have to participate in this cannonball thing. Where you're on this moving cannonball shooter and you have to kill everyone. And the, the AI in this game pretty fucking smart. Like in Yu-Gi-Oh, when I am at 100 life points, my plot armor activates. Oh, speaking of, that's the reason why I started streaming late today. I was watching the Yu-Gi-Oh marathon right now. They're up to Yu-Gi-Oh Zexel, or well, they they started Yu-Gi-Oh Zexel yesterday, but right now they're on a repeat of Zexel season one. Oh, it doesn't. It refills, but it doesn't give you extra. That sucks. But yeah, right now, the episode they're up to right now is... The number Hunter one. The one, uh, when Astral and you, uh, uh, where Astral and Kite start their duel. No checkpoints so far. Oh, there we go. Finally. Just have to ask. But I really enjoyed watching Yu Gi Oh's Excellent. They got pretty good in the, the second part. When the Baryons get there. Oh, it's also funny watching like all the Zexel hate comments in the stream. Like no one no one said any hate comments when I was there for the Yu-Gi-Oh 5D stream. For Zexel, oh man, there's hate comments everywhere. Probably because the main character has like a... I think he loses like nearly every duel. Well, early on he loses nearly every duel. Later he, he just wins everything. Or almost everything. I mean, by like episode 15 he's got like a 43... Um, he's got like 43 losses in 5 wins. Uh, also funny, all the Chaz memes are still relevant. Oh, uh, this is the boss, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. Oh, he's using the same thing I have. And I can't shoot it. Going in a pattern. God, 
god, that range on the bombs is huge. Any, uh, any bombs nearby I can use? Oh, it won't let me go back. I have to do this without any bombs. No power-ups or anything. Let's go. God damn it. I'm already... Yeah, I didn't need that third of my health anyway. It was only slowing me down. Going around in a circle. So I can almost predict its movements. It's split? Okay. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. How is this fair? Okay, seems like there's a maximum number that they can have here, thank god. Fuck. I can't get them, they're little... Little babies are blocking the way. One of them is almost gone. Alright, one's gone. Your buddy is about to go to. Thank god there's a limit to how many they spawn of these things. Anna Sean, yeah. Anna Sean. I I don't know anyone named Anna Sean. I'm sorry. Still not all the chips. At least there's, at least all the doors are open. You know, there was a dream I had that I wanted to talk about, but now I don't even remember what it is. Man, what did I want to talk about? Hmm. I don't even remember the dream now. So let me just make sure that I am missing gems, otherwise, yeah, I'm missing 18. And these poor butterflies, they're just trying to get away from me, but I'm eating. I thought I absolutely missed something in the beginning, and I guess not. So it might have been in the boss room. Yeah, this is where I started. Oh. Oh, no, it just got unlocked.
All right, let's see what power up I got this time. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. Oh, it's now. Well, that's pretty good. So we're back at it again with the wrong aspect ratio and still streaming in 8K. Or not streaming in 8K. Listen, this thing can barely stream in 4K. It can't go to 8K. Actually, I don't think this can even stream at like 720. The aspect ratio is fuck. Like, I can't do anything about it. It's locked that way. Oh, in other news, um, found out my vet that took care of my bird, he's retired. Can't you modify the settings to fix it? I try, but it always keeps it in this aspect ratio. And yes, I have truly tried. It just keeps it in this aspect ratio, like no matter what. Okay, let's go to the speedway first. Yeah, let's race. Uh, race the blue-footed boobies. <laughs> boobies. This is a kid's game. But yeah, I'm really sad my vet retired. He was such a good guy. Saved my bird's life multiple times. Fuck. But apparently he's had some health conditions. He's better now, but he's of the... I think he's close to the age of retirement. Or something like that. But now there's a new vet. Sora, that's illegal. What do you mean illegal? A veterinarian? You're not allowed to own people anymore. Alright. Oh crap, did I miss it? Yeah. Fuck, this is hard. Alright, well the veterinarian I go to, he no longer works there. So it's sad. Saved my bird's life a few times. Whoa, that's gonna be difficult. Yes, got it. Analog sticks on an emulator, not fun at all. Oh, missed it. All of that, I'm, a, I'm only fit. How is that? So, how are you doing, Pop? Zero Nine Pop, or whatever you want to be called. that one. <laughs> I'm racing blue-footed boobies. <laughs> uh, 
Like, the, the game designers must have been laughing when they wrote that, right? <laughs> this is a kid's game. Oh, that seagull fucked me up. Pushed me away from the ring. Get your fat bird ass out of my face. Yeah, I wanted to miss that one. Strangely- wow, you can hit them when you spiral. That's interesting. This is strangely going better than the first time when I was still at fifth at this point. Oh, blue shell on first. Missed it. Got it. Oh, there was a ring there. Fuck. Alright. I think the reason why I catched up so soon was... Why even go there? I think the reason why I'm catching up so soon now is because the game probably made it easier for me. Maybe it has some kind of uh, difficulty modifier. Fuck, why is it so hard with the analog stick? It's not as good as last time, but at least I see third and second. So I could definitely make first. Yeah, there's first, I'll go there. Man, these boobies are tough. Hopefully I beat the game today. Maybe. It, it depends on how the other levels go. I still can't believe like this even worked. Spyro 3 had like some of the toughest crack protection. I mean... It kind of makes sense since this came out like 12 years ago, and I guess 12 years is a long time for someone to figure out like how to get around all the crack protection and stuff. Oh, I see the finish line. I was gonna kill myself if I missed that one. Kill myself for that one later. Oh, the finish was right there. I was gonna make it. Well, time to end the stream and kill myself. Oh, there's no one watching right now, so 
Just I'll wait for people to come here and watch, then I'll do this. Union Cross, you know, um, we had that deal on Friday, where it's pretty much you get two of the new medals that they've recently released. One, two, or three dots as well on them. Uh, I pulled several, several times, about ten. Got some good medals, got that dank illustrated Neku. Uh, I got HD Leon's. HD Pete. A lot of uh, here and there medals. Got to reroll some traits on them as well. Of course, for uh, most of my traits were absolute garbage. Oh, speaking of absolute garbage, that fucking rock. Yeah, something's not right in the game. That you spend money for a chance to. Oh, I guess that's all gacha games. Still, like, th this shouldn't be right. That you re-roll traits and you can end up with, like, your 50% chance is gonna get shit. Like, at least it's 50%. I mean, look, let me think. So basically what a trait is, in case anyone cares or wants to know. When you combine two of the same metal with the same level, you get a trait, which can be really useful. It's like... There's a bunch of crap ones, and there's like a few good ones. 90% of the time I do traits, I always get the bad ones. Yeah, it, it kind of hurts. That's all these phone games in general. And let's be honest, like, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, that's how Kingdom Hearts 3 is getting funded. You know, at, at this point, that's the reason why we're gonna get Kingdom Hearts 3 maybe this year. Wow, I actually lapped that one. I almost lapped it. It's really gonna suck. Once I beat Spyro 3, I'm gonna really miss playing Spyro. It was so fun. This is my childhood game. And then I'll probably never play this again. Okay, the end is in sight. I'm so far ahead right now. Almost there. Uh oh. Please, not now. 
Wait, 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 where's the... Oh, there it is. Got nervous for a second. Forgot how to play. I did it. Jesse, not to be confused with uh, Jesse from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, or Jesse from Team Rocket. <laughs> I'm killing the babies. But yeah, like, I remember back many... I guess about a year ago, two years, when the laptop broke and then I had to stream on the crap top. And I'm like, why don't I play Spyro Hero's Tale? I remember a lot from that game, it was fun. Sure, I'll stream it. And somehow that stream ended up being the one that I uh, got the most views on my channel. A lot of people said they really enjoyed that game. And it really was a great game, Hero's Tale. The last good Spyro game. What is this? What the fuck are these things? It's salmon riding. Ah. Oh. The floor is literal lava. Or I guess the ocean is literal lava. But yeah, everyone liked Hero's Tale, and I liked it too. Uh, except finding that one egg in like Ice Citadel, that was fucking terrible. Yeah, after Hero's Tale, streamed the first two Spyro games. Ripto's Rage didn't really uh, go well. I don't know what was up with the PS3, but it just just didn't like playing those cutscenes. Every time the cutscenes came on, the sound just died. And then fast forward to one year ago, nearly one year ago, trying to play Spyro 3 on the PS3. Didn't work. The PS3 can't fucking emulate this well. And then fast forward to today. Okay, after I kill the last one, I have to just turn around. Yeah, I lost. And I'm glad I got to stream this. Five parts of fun. Childhood relive. <laughs> Look at the way these things walk. Or I guess waddle. Man, it's so weird, like, realizing PS1 graphics compared to, like, PS4 graphics. We've come a long way. Man, I wonder what Spyro would look like if they remade it for PS4. If Insomniac ever gets the rights back for Spyro. And they do a well-deserved HD trilogy. You almost had it. Almost. Miss those other two fish. Oh, I missed that one. I'll have to. <sighs> Maybe I'll just fly backwards. That'll let me destroy them easier and quicker.
So let me think, after this world, well after this level, I have to do the hunter thing, and then I have Crystal Islands, which is terrible. As well as uh, Dino Mines, which is also terrible. I also forgot to do the Agent 9 thing in the previous world, so I have to go back and do that. Aw, oh, come on. Nah. If I miss one, it's over. The time crunch is really... There's like a very little window for me. If I miss one, I just have to start. So yeah, and then after that I have Haunted Tomb, which is absolutely going to suck. So that's one of the hardest levels in the game. In fact, I really think it is the hardest. Next to Dino Mines. Man, like, they really need to remake this. I will fucking buy it so fast. They remake the Spiral Trilogy for PS4. How? Okay. Hopefully I'm still fast enough to get all of them. Six. Five, four, three, two, go. Uh, Kobe. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the meme, the legend, the Kobe. Alright, now to find Hunter. Where would he be? Uh, something big and obvious. Lighthouse. Yep. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged, and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with him as long as I can make it through the rings. I'm gonna chase him down. Hurry up already. I'll be right back. Oh, I hate this one. This is the close-up. Who, who invented going through rings in a video game? Like, I, I want to meet the guy and tell him a few things. Oh, Where do these fly? He baited me. He went left and then changed the world. Seriously, like, who the hell thought up rings would be a good thing? Is there any video game out there where, like, there isn't something where you gotta go through rings to advance? This has to be in, like, every video game. Where do these fly? Let me think. Like, the, the ring thing is in every Spyro game, it's... Uh, I don't know if it's in Sly Cooper. I know it's in Jack and Daxter, obviously. Um... Kingdom Hearts. Is there any rings in Kingdom Hearts? Oh, I think so. 
Alright, so it's not in every video game, but it's almost in every video game. Saucer. Yes! That was close! The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed! Sarah? I, I don't know any Sarahs that I can reference. Man, still no, still no dragon egg named Mitchell. Sad. We found Marco in like part three. <laughs> he was the bear from a uh, sunny, uh, sunny villa. And then we found out that he was. He told us to go find another bear who was the girlfriend. And the girlfriend says, "What, Marco? I've got a restraining order <laughs> against him." Okay, first things first. Go do the Agent 9 thing in Fireworks Factory. That's hilarious. If only Marco was here to see it. Got a restraining order on him. Okay, so to give you a insight on this mini game with Agent 9. If any of you have ever played Doom, this is uh this is exactly like Doom. Or not exact, but very, very similar. I should probably regain my health first. Goes. The good thing about this, though, there is a secret skill point hey, power Spyro, up here. I'm helping a kid called Handle recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know, I'm always ready to kick some Rhinoc booty! <laughs> Hi, Agent Knight. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, Press the circle button to shoot, and use L1 and R1 to dodge left and right. White. Oh, so this is like strafing. Yep, this is exactly what you think it is. Oh. Okay, so I think somewhere up there is the, the power up. No. I think I'll get it. I think I get it now. Um, my. I forgot my analog stick this this is a problem. I have no way to aim up. Hmm. Uh. Oh, gotta press triangle. It's somewhere here. Where is it? Let 
maybe it's this way. I I don't even see it. Where? Is it? I swear I'm not crazy. There is a power up. All right. Well, I can't find it. So we're doing with the old fashioned. Pretty much uh, five hits and you die. I say five because after Sparks gets hit enough times, it's pretty much one hit and you're done. <laughs> oh, and if you thought this was this wasn't hard enough. You thought this wasn't hard enough. Uh, wait till you see part two of this. And that extra life is gonna come in handy. Or extra hit, it's not really an extra life. Yes, dodged it. Man, I'm, I'm really upset I can't find out where the, the power-up was. I must have missed it. Where the fuck did you come from? Okay, I, I swear, it must be somewhere, somewhere at the top. I swear there's a power up, I'm not crazy. I don't remember where it is. How's it going? Hey there, Nominee Oblivion. Long time no see. I'm finally playing Spyro after getting it to work for a while. There it is, there's the power up. Alright, check this thing out. I told you I'm not crazy, it's real. Oh yeah, so since I didn't get to ask you yet, how was your 2017? More ninjas? been playing the Sonic series for last week. Oh, how is it? Huh. 
and I ain't done with it yet for a long time. Maybe by the end of 2018 you'll be done. in the other room over there. One of you. Are there any ninjas? So now it ranged from crappy to okay to alright. Well, sadly I've never played any Sonic games, so I don't know. So it's pretty balanced. That's good though. I'm probably infinite to spawn. Play Shadow the Hedgehog 100%. Which which Sonic game was it that everyone hated? Besides all of them? It was like the Sonic game that uh, had like all the glitches and bugs. Or was every Sonic game completely perfect? Okay, so this part's going well so far. Part two of this is things fucking suck. Every game has some haters. Other games like Shadow have a few more haters. Dude, I I bet I'll love it. Ah! What the fuck is that? Did the fucking butterfly thing get me? Uh, I'm ready this time. Then there was 06 with glitches and hater overload. Okay, as soon as I get that egg, that's where shit becomes real. So I gotta be careful. By the way, I swear this isn't how the game normally looks. I'm just doing a mini game right now and it's put me in first person. Patty. Not to be confused with the Krabby Patty. This is a kid's game. Oh yeah, all the enemies came back, by the way. Ah. It's 
it's the best spiral game, definitely. This is the best spiral game. Themselves ninjas. They don't even know any talk no jutsus. Yeah, it is pretty funny. You come here and this is all you see. Well, this is one of the hardest things to do in Spyro, unless you get the the gun power up, which I do. So I'm a loser. The gun really fucks them up. My gun power up is about to end. Oh, there it goes. This <laughs> one guy won. I can't hit him. Bullshit. That was. Oh, by the way, this isn't the only first-person one that they have. There's a second one in this game on a later level, which I will be showing today. Not on a time limit. I and mean, that guy was strapped to a bomb, but he's fine. You know? We don't have to worry about it. He came through a wall! I guess he is a ninja. Or Danny Phantom. Worst bomb ever. Hasn't even exploded yet. There's some behind me, aren't there? Ow. Okay, two more hits and I die. I'm already at the end. Hopefully, I'm safe. <laughs> Any more? Okay, we're almost there. Nope, nope, get the fuck away from me. Ah, one more hit and I die. Yeah, I'm blind. I've mentioned it before many times, but I am blind. Yeah, 1 HP height.
Is everyone dead? Okay, it's all gems. Wow, the guy just strapped him and left. Okay. Thanks for rescuing me. You better look after this egg before the White Ox try to blow that up too. Wow, the bomb didn't even fucking matter. <laughs> Donovan. Not to be confused with Agent Donovan from Spy Kids. <sighs> Level complete. Alright, can I get out of first person now? Spy Kids was a good movie. I remember thinking as a kid I might have been a Spy Kid. When I got like the highest score possible in the Spy Kids Game Boy game. You know, as an adult I realized how fucking dumb I am as a kid. Okay, that's done. So, Nomine, did you see those Kingdom Hearts 3 leaks? Apparently we're getting Monsters, Inc. <laughs> oh, you didn't see that? Whoops. Well, uh, we're getting Monsters, Inc. <laughs> We have Crystal Island. Uh, this was actually a pretty fun level. I'll go here first. Desert Ruins. Song here was pretty cool too. This KH3 matter at this point? Well, all that money I spent on Kingdom Hearts Union Cross better be going somewhere. You must be Spyro. A lot of people are talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend, Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, and I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but you know there's all these scorpions and stuff. By the way, this level's in huge easter egg to, um, or not easter egg, a huge reference to Tomb Raider. All right, guys, we gotta rescue Tara Strong. Because if we don't, who else will voice SpongeBob? The event department that makes more EX banners. Listen, we wanted more content, and they gave us more EX banners. The current deal right now is pretty good. Just a pancake reference. I know, I've seen. Yeah, this level has some fucking terrifying enemies. This scorpion has a flamethrower for its tail. Darkness. Okay, I believe you. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. Sorry, Guy Curl, but I need my health. Aw, oh, this fucking bear is back. 
Square Enix at it again. Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the, uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the Stone Golem. But, uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment. If you know what I mean. By the way, are there any Spyro fan projects here, Weeks? Um, 800 gems, this fucking bear. It's just as well. I've heard there are enough riches inside this tomb to pay a dragon's ransom, uh, so to speak. Mm. Well, All right, inspired. I'll buy it. But yeah, I don't think there are any fan projects. I've seen some fan-made things, like they made some of the Spyro 1 levels on the Unreal 4 engine. I saw a video of that on YouTube. <laughs> Very well then. The password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible! This fucking guy. It's kinda sad to be honest that the first Skylanders game was his last game and he doesn't return, but Bubsy does. It's kinda sad that the game is called Spyro Skylanders and you can barely do anything with Spyro. Alright. Funny how these scorpions, they shoot fire from their tails, but all of a sudden, when I flame them, <laughs> they just die instantly. Never played Spyro, that's just a cruel fate for someone to go down like that. It is. Like, Spyro became a really abused stepchild. But the reason why is after Spyro 3, Insomniac's contract with them ran out. So then they're like, well, we'll just sell the rights to Spyro, because they only were supposed to make three games with it. And here we are in 2018, we have Spyro Skylanders. My ass, I need that. Oh, what's this? Oh, hello there. I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers. Want to ride him and Look. try blasting some sharks? Let me just point out right now, Hunter is a... Hunter is like a cheetah. He's wearing goggles and a swimming outfit, but no, no breathing. <laughs> no breathing equipment. He was just talking underwater without any breathing equipment. Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. Hunter must be some kind of, like, rare breed of underwater sheep. Also, I think there was a skill point here for, like, killing all the seaweed. SpongeBob and Patrick smoke. I'd try it. We have Switch in 2018. His last game was on Wii. Wow. That's the crazy. Poor Spiral, man. Like, he had some good games, like the first three, but then after that, things just went downhill. Hero's Tale was good. I don't know about the Legend of Spyro games. Try I've never played them, but I played like a watered down version. Oh wow, that's a speed. Oops. 
I played the watered down version on the Game Boy, which is similar to the story, but like not exactly like it. I did watch the movies of Legend of Spyro though. Like just the, the cutscenes and shit. Damn, let's see we go in. Yeah, on the Game Boy, that's the one I had. Legend of Spyro on the Game Boy. The Game Boy games of S Spyro weren't that good either. Mainly because the, the issue they faced was there was a lot of platforms and a lot of space where you can just fall. It's hard to tell on the Game Boy like how far away something is because it's 2D in a way. So yeah, that was the main problem with those games, as well as the story not being so good. Some concepts were pretty good though. I remember Season of Ice or Season of Flame, one of them was like, you had to rescue all 100 of the fairies. Like, that was fine, but he here's what was not fine. The, f the way the, the game like, laid out the levels, Oh, as well as the, as well as the, um, the, the flight levels, those were fucking awful. Like, I know I didn't suck at those, the game was just, like, super impossible with those. You had to be extremely perfect to, to, um, get, like, all the gems on that kind of level. Hero's Tale was actually very well made, in my opinion. Like, it, it takes all you know about Spyro and throws it out the window, but the story was really good, the gameplay was good. One thing I will say about Hero's Tale, though, it's a huge lack of power-ups in the shop. Like, there's only one power-up to increase your... Uh, Increase the amount of range on your storm on your uh, head dive Other than that, there's really like not much you can do in the shop like you're just buying fucking keys all the time It's the only thing you'll ever want the butterfly jar sure. Maybe you'll want it just to have it It's always crappy when a game is almost impossible to 100% complete it. Yep dark cloud 2 I'm looking at you right now. Fucking speedo. I don't know how people can play that. Bombs are key. You, you can also buy different kinds of bombs in the shop, by the way. So bombs technically are... Well, no, they're not. Bombs really do nothing in the game. Some, some kind of bombs, like the ice missiles, those are good to have, but most of the others are absolute shit. Skill point. No, oh, man, that was the last one. Try not to get hit by. So yeah, Hero's Tale was good. the The only difficult things I remember from Hero's Tale was the uh, the ball gadget thing. Some of the ball gadget things. The uh, Sergeant Berg levels in that cloud part. Right, I got fucking lit hard. That guy's gonna put that kill in his montage.
At least I got the skill point, then. That's important. Oh, I have to... You know, I haven't really, like, thought about Binding of Isaac for, like, many months now. Did anything new happen there? Best of Sora Scrub. It's gonna be a really short video. Nice shooting, comrade! Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. Sadie? I don't know any Sadies. Alright, sparks point into the gems. Uh, Spark says down this way. Honestly, I have no clue what's going on in Isaac anymore since almost 100% of it on Wii U haven't clicked it much. Alright, that's all the treasure here. Let's go. How about get out of here? Oh, well why even get out? I can just do that. A few rounds after birth plus on switch, but that's it. Oh, I found Terra strong. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work. I spend all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, might as well have it. Only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway. Marty? Great Scott, Marty! I don't know any uh, Back to the Future quotes, but yeah, Marty. Not to be confused with Morty from that 200 IQ show. <laughs> Where is the new cheat at? This is a kid's game. Oh, uh, there was boobies in this- Oh fuck, I left. I wanted to continue exploring. Yeah, in the flight level, you race against the blue-footed boobies. Uh. So yeah, we got to see that in this kid's game. Where is Rick, though? I don't know. Eating some of that Szechuan sauce. Is it called Szechuan? Chef Szechuan. Some, you know, it's sauce. He was eating sauce. I don't know where the key is. <sighs> dodge that. Didn't dodge that, though. Got him. Uh, I took a few tries. Oh, that's where the key is. Now, how do I get there? Well, that didn't work. I haven't watched Rick and Morty ever, though. That's alright, I won't talk about it. I know how um, toxic the community has become. Either people who haven't watched it or people who have. So, I'll just leave it at that and move on. Uh, I want this one. Oh, that's why I didn't notice anything. Can't we just buy a key in the shop for a few rupees? 
Nah, I tried calling Sora as well, but he didn't show up. I don't need this. I'm assuming I fly from here to there. Alright, this will be interesting. Let's see if I can pull this off. Nelly. Not to be confused with Whoa Nelly, a popular saying on children's shows. I think so, anyway. Yeah, but sadly, it's not Zelda 1. I feel bad that I haven't ever played any, like, popular games from the past, like Zelda or Sonic, or uh, Doom, or uh, whatever other popular games there were many years ago. Okay. Play Doom. Nice. I'm with you there. I doubt this is all the gems. Yeah, Spark's still pointing. And I still haven't done that Sheila level. I still haven't gotten that egg all the way there. I like how all it took was Spyro for me to break past two viewers. I don't blame them though. Spyro, very good game. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I get it. The hand. Go from the hand to there. It's funny how you barely played any popular game. Yeah. At least you got Spyro. Except KH, you just played the entire series. Well, okay, here's how... Here's how I, uh, got into Kingdom Hearts. So basically... Uh, I think I saw my brother playing Kingdom Hearts... Uh, Chain of Memories on Game Boy. And I wanted to try it, so he let me. And I played it. I didn't understand anything, but I found the game to be very fun. And then, eventually, I think we got Kingdom Hearts 1. And I remember at some point when I was in, like, elementary school, we got Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, it might have been when I was in, like, 5th grade? So yeah, at that point, we got Kingdom Hearts 2. And of course, he wanted to be, like, the first to play it. And, I mean, like, from the family. Not that it matters or anything, but... Yeah, he got to play. And, uh, we enjoyed Kingdom Hearts 2. Then we found out, oh, Birth by Sleep's coming out. And he's like, nah, I don't really care. I'll just wait for Kingdom Hearts 3. <sighs> Boy, did he wait. Oh, no, no. 3, 5, 8, over 2 days came out. And at that point, we had, like, this, uh, emulator. Like, not really an emulator, but we had, like, the... This DS thing that lets you... Uh, download the games online and play them that way. So we played 3, 5, 8, or 2 days that way. He didn't like it at all, and he's like, I'll just wait for Kingdom Hearts 3. I played it, didn't really like days that much. It was something new. How am I gonna get there? Then, in about middle school, uh, 3, 3 5, 8, um... Birth by Sleep came out, and I wanted to get it for the PSP. Specifically bought a PSP for that purpose. 
And at some point later on, one of my older cousins was like, Man, you wanna play a real game? Let me give you Final Fantasy Crisis Core. Well, you gotta figure out how to get behind in this area. There's like this area in Crisis Core that you have to figure out how to get to. It's like an additional area, you don't have to do it. But I did figure it out, you have to like talk to all the tombstones and then you can go there. Anyway, I played Crisis Core, I fucking love that game. It was so good. I love playing it, played it so many times. So yeah, that's why like the only PSP games I have is that, Crisis Core. Oh, he also told me to Dissidia. I think I got Dissidia as well because I saw it a lot online. Like a lot of people were playing it. Anyway, fast forward after Birth by Sleep. What was the what was the next game after Birth by Sleep? It was 3D, right? And I think at that point, no, they made Rechain of Memories at some point after Birth by Sleep. And I'm like, well, I gotta play that because I like Chain of Memories. Rechain Re of Memories, all right. I kind of like Chain of Memories more. But now I kind of like Rechain more. Funnily enough, Days is the last game to use the traditional gameplay style before KH3, and that ain't out yet. That is true, because after that they went to the command menus. Alright, where the fuck is that last shit? Saying this way. So yeah, I played Retrain in Memory, and then I think at some point they went to 3D, and I couldn't play 3D because I don't have a 3DS, and I'm like, well, I already bought a PSP, I don't really want to buy. Oh yeah, Recoded, I think I got that on the DS as well, and I actually really like Recoded. It says it's this way, but I don't see anything there. Ah. I would have never figured that out. Recoded was very fun. It also has my favorite Keyblade, Zero One, which is a Keyblade with literal aimbot. And how can you not like that? Andy? Not to be confused with that kid from Toy Story, which may or may not be in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh wait, it is in Kingdom Hearts 3. There was a trailer that showed it in Kingdom Hearts 3. I think that's all the gems. Yeah, it's all the gems here. Hi Spyro, haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't ya? Yesteryear. Yesteryear. This is pretty much a side-scroller level. I'm an Australian kangaroo. So yeah, I think then, after Recoded and Rechain of Memories, we got the remixes on PS3, which was like 1.5, and then later on we got 2.5 on PS3. Lester? I don't know any of Lester's. Multiple game series have gone through one game that was the worst or close to the worst in the series, and then there is a sequel that is generally considered to do better. Okay, dodge that somehow. Getting triangle in the airs to do the dive. Pete, 
Not to be confused with Pete from Kingdom Hearts and uh, that other Disney show. Hey, all the gems, all the eggs. It should be all the eggs. Yes. Level complete. And I got the skill point. Okay, Crystal Fissure, Haunted Tomb. Which do I hate more? Probably Haunted Tomb. For Pete's sake. Yeah, not to be confused with for Pete's sake either. Also, I did get HD Pete from the new deal in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Oh yeah, so then after 1.5 and 2.5, I think we got like 2.8 and then 1.5, 2.5 combo on PS4? Ah, yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made hey, of night stuff blade. than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? I fucking know. Hey, do you guys know an emoteb? Oh yeah, I forgot in this level, this thing spawns them infinitely. Unless you can get the, uh, the balls. Did you see the clip for Ultimate about Spyro yet? Oh yeah, so we found Marco. <laughs> well, we found a character named Marco, which is the- which is KHP Ultimate's real name. And he made us find this girl in the game, who actually turned out to be uh, a girl who has a restraining order on Marco. So yeah, it was really funny. I think he's throwing like fucking diapers at me or something. Explosive diapers. Hey there, Anubis. You're a pretty crappy villain in that Yu-Gi-Oh movie. Hey, you guys think we're gonna find we're gonna find Yugi here? Alright, we're in Egypt. Should be Egypt. There's also a skill point here, just go all the way in the end. Remind me to never take a bullet out game seriously ever again. Oh, by the way, Nightblade, you know what I realized? Toho is a school in Japan. Or a college. I never knew that. Because I was re-watching Death Note and I realized the main character goes to a school in Japan called Toho. Yeah, I don't know if it is based on a real named school, but... Yeah, there's a... maybe a school in Japan or a college in Japan called Toho.
school, a school named Eastern. <laughs> Haven't watched anime in a while. Oh, fuck. Can't you just catch it in your mouth, Spyro? Cameras aren't the best. Okay. What if they had a how to dodge a bullet class there? Yeah, the only anime I've watched has been Death Note since like a few months ago, but I haven't watched anime again. Oh, wait, I'm... I'm totally lying. I've watched Yu-Gi-Oh! for like a few days now. <laughs> Mainly because Twitch Presents is having a Yu-Gi-Oh! marathon. They're up to Zexel. And I'm enjoying the... The chat watching Zexel. The chat keeps demodding you. Come on, we, we all know what's really going on. There's a second Nightblade here. Um, Blue Angel is dueling Spectre right now. You know that guy Spectre, the Revolver's right-hand man that doesn't do anything for like 20 episodes? Yeah, he's doing shit again. Well, you get this? Hey, throw your fucking shit ball at me. Oh yeah, Range is also on a break until this Wednesday. They took a break last episode. It didn't show anything. What's Vrains? That's the new Yu-Gi-Oh that's out right now. I think Vrains stands for something. It's like virtual reality, artificial intelligence, uh, network system. I think that's what it was. I haven't watched since the first episode of the Duel on the Main Computer. Hey there, Christine. I don't I don't know any Christines. I know plenty of Christinas in real life, but no Christines. Sesame. 
Oh yeah, so how were your holidays, Nominee Oblivion? Other than, uh, playing, uh, Sonic. You had a good time with your family? Wonderful holiday? Going back to how I said I shouldn't take a bullet hell game seriously. Oh, so how'd that happen? Toho and lunatic mode. Yeah, that's Nightblade. It's the only difficulty he ever plays. He just goes to lunatic mode. What do you mean normal? Caskets I can blow the fuck up. No? Maybe up here? Oh, this is the death slide. I don't want to go here. Alright. My holidays were good, like always. School. I hate school. I'm off until January 29th. On that day, I have to go back to college. For my final semester, and it's probably gonna be the last semester I stream. After that, I'll probably uh, get a job and not stream anymore. I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? A bone, an egg, a treasure chest, a bandicoot. <laughs> nice, nice. Crash bandicoot. Well, a bone doesn't have locks or hinges, but it's not yellow on the inside unless you count. I don't know if marrow is the inside. An egg, yeah, the yolk is gold. Treasure chest, he says no locked or hinges. This is one of those, uh, Choice D answers that are made to be very funny, so let's go with the egg. Hmm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you Yeah, very well, I bargain is a bargain. <laughs> An ego. A will. I've waited seven thousand years for someone to solve that riddle. Now I can finally head off to Seashell Shore to bury some bones. Have fun there, Yami. Or Atam, or whatever. Yeah. God, I don't want to go on the death slide. Alright, this is one of the death slides here. Oh my god. You can't fly while you're on it. And you can't... You can't, uh, jump at all either. And it's very slippery. So you just have to hope you can. Oh, okay. Well, that was an interesting way to end off the conversation. All right, let's go. Mm, this way, this way, this way. Oh no, oh, that's not my fuck. By the way, I wonder how many ancient douchebags are there. Man, I'm gonna lose all my lives right here. Malcolm, not to be confused with that guy in the middle. He's huge. One big ass dragon. Why is the slide slippery? Someone, someone did something on that slide. There are Zork, Anubis, the guy from Forbidden Memories, those Oracalcum things, Dunk Thousand, etc. The first round of the annual demolition. Fuck! I hate this place. Okay. Is about to begin. This is, is probably the toughest mini game in Spyro. To 
And so we're real to qualify. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? Guys, math was never my strong subject. Also, my controller stopped working. All right, controller's fixed. Yeah, 12. Very impressive. That is correct. Good luck in the demolition Naughty of a Naughty things on the slide. They call it a slide for a reason. Alright, this minigame fucking sucks. You have to kill all of them. Okay, not that one. How do you raise the... Wrong button. The first round. Okay, 12 years. I'm always gonna remember that. Basically, you have to kill all of them without dying yourself. And it's four on one, by the way. And this is only round one. The next rounds are even worse. Fuck. I learned my lesson when I played late in one. This is just an asshole puzzle. Everyone uses it at first, and one, one might fail, but then never again. The first round. The only way to win here is to like stay far away and just snipe them. Oh, that's why they have the pots here, so we can't do that. Pots will protect me. Oh, I got someone. Who's nice. left? Go. All right, round one is done. I don't remember if you have to redo everything when you die. Or not. All right, MJ. Not to be confused with. Uh, uh, MJ from uh, I don't know, Spider Man. There was an MJ there, right? The championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Yeah, no shit. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one? My, my. Such a brave reptile you are. But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship. The one that sucks. Come on, get that one all the way there. Just trying to snipe that one from there. Come on, I'm not even in the zone yet. This guy's spawn camping. I'm dead. 
Okay, let's see. Do I have to restart? You may now? now end. Okay, no, I have to just kill all the time. Cowards hiding behind the pots. Can you snipe them from the other stages? You could, but when they hide behind the pots, you can't. I don't know about people who hide there, though. No. You might be able to. But once they hide the behind the pots, it's like GG. Snipe them. There's one hiding behind that. Pie. There's three hiding behind the pots. Damn it, this one's gonna be hard. It took ten shots to kill. We don't have limited ammo, so 10 shots is fine. Got him, okay. I just need to you go one way, end. get rid of everyone that way, and then just snipe from there. Alright, lost three of my lives, but I can win. Might be able to. You need more health. I should have four hits to death, but you the game only gives me three here. I don't know why. No one's there. Can I get behind you? I can. Maybe I can snipe them. Oh, it is working. Alright. I 
found my cheap tactics. You can't see them because they aren't loaded in. But they are here. and uh, a lot to go. Time for the clutch plays. I've played enough PC for a day. Maybe for a bit, I'm gonna get on the iPad and make some chicken nuggets. Fuck, now I'm hungry. I forgot to make my sandwich, so I'm just starving right now. Yes, okay. That way is clear. Oh, come on, he sniped me! Bullshit. You may now end. No, other way. Let's get back. Right over here. How the hell did I get one here last time? I can't believe that one sniped me. I sniped that one. They're firing. Okay, that was close. I sniped that one. He's kind of out. If you're careful, sometimes you can cut through and get them. Well, that one I have to snipe. There's gonna be one who's hiding behind that pot. Maybe I can get him. Yes, okay. That 
area is clear. And I've got three fucking assholes over here to get them. To get. To mention, I also have this way to clear. Oh, maybe it's just two assholes here. Oh, nice. After you... After you go in here, they lock this area. Alright, well, there's one. Got him. Okay, two to go. I think this area is clear? Anyone over there? Ah, there's one. Hiding that thing. Got him, okay. And one more all the way here. I think I can get him from here. So I'm careful. Or I could just run up and do this. Go. That was indeed a battle Did for it. the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. A fucking egg named TJ. Not to be confused with MJ, that other egg I got here. <laughs> Alright, only one thing to do in this level, and that's fucking Agent 9. And his BS. Those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. Huh, doesn't look like a snake. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Fucking okay, guys and their riddles. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. A stalker. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. Oh, uh, restraining orders. Well, Shadow follows you, but how do you take more time? Yeah, yes, a giant blizzard. My steps. You're quite clear. Yeah. Can I just snipe them? Uh oh. Round one's done, round two. Damn, they made them snipe proof. Oh, gotta destroy the pots or else. Hey, lasers, please bounce off, please. Well, I have one hit with sparks left. This will go well. Oh, this is really gonna go well. Damn. 
Damn, that guy is really long reach. Got him. Alright, round four. That one got to hit me and live. Behind this door. All right, ricochet bullets, please hit them. What you miss? I beat the the cannon thing. Now I have to do the Agent Nine bullshit. Seventeen chicken nuggets. I need more. Yeah, you also made me hungry with your chicken nuggets. I need some now. Not chicken nuggets, but my sandwich that's in the refrigerator that I have to make. Let's see if I can survive this. Yeah, just just walk me to the middle of this shit. Oh, this is terrifying. shit and kill them with it. That's how you fucking throw. <laughs> Little do the enemies know how inefficient their strategy is. Their strategy is basically swarm. My strategy is stay in one spot and attack. 
Roxy. I don't know any Roxies. You know, I could probably finish this game today, but I think... I think I'll finish it on Friday instead. I'll go Monday, or not Monday, I'll go Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with some Dark Cloud 2, and then on Friday I'll go and finish this. a really short stream on Friday, think about it, because it's the sorceress and then the, the bug bots factory thing here, oh and I haven't done dino mines yet, so, uh, alright, I'm definitely not finishing today, I know that for a fact. So, uh, hmm, Dino Mines or Crystal Fissure? What do I hate more? Yeah, I'll, I'll do Dino Mines on Friday. Or Crystal Isles, not Crystal Fissure. Alright, so I'll finish Spiral on Friday. Tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'll stream Dark Cloud too, because I need to do stuff Shh, Spiral, don't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we've practiced using it. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it, it seems to have aggravated the indigenous <laughs> creatures. Wow. These fucking guys turn everything into crystal. You know, they made all the inhabitants very bad. Okay. But yeah, like, the reason why I need to stream Dark Cloud 2, it's because... Like, this is the month where I have the most free time, because after this month, I go back to college, and I'll have a lot less free time. Turn everything into diamonds. Oh, can I get that gem? Please. I can. Oh, this is where I came from. So yeah, like, all that free time is gonna really help. Do you have the rest of the month off? Yeah, I have until the 29th off. Some fucking beaver. Okay, crystal beaver. Nice. Not to be confused with Yugi Moto's beaver warrior. So yeah, because I have this month off, it'd be pretty good to be able to do stuff off-stream for Dark Cloud 2, which Would requires like a lot of off-stream work. Watch carefully. As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve. Nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! <laughs> Damn, cool trick, bro. I feel bad for killing everything here. It's not their fault. They were just turned into crystal. Is this how Pokemon Crystal was made? Have Spyro breathe fire. Manny? Not to be confused with Manny from, uh... Uh... Ice Age. Yeah, there was a Manny there. 
You could try some bullet hell games. I can tell you right now, I'm not gonna try bullet hell games. I mean, have you seen me play The World Ends With You? I can barely beat the final boss. Oh, you want to see the trick? I mean, The World Ends With You wasn't really bullet hell, but the final boss sure as hell was. Oh, speaking of which, I decided to pull again on uh, the new deal we had. All this magic is just misdirection, you know. I got another illustrated Neku from the deal. And, of course, I rolled traits, and he has poison resist, sleep resist, and now 2,000 defense. I fucking hate the trait system in the game. It's bullshit. I mean, the people in my party, they're getting, like, ground defense down, air defense down, extra attack on, like, all the things they needed. I'm getting fucking sleep resist, poison resist, 2,000 defense. Like, if I could have gotten ground defense down, air defense down, it would have been fucking nice. But I'm at about 30,000 jewels, so I'm gonna save for that copy banner, which we probably will never get. And I need another anti-form sword to guild. I need like four dots more to guild. Hopefully I get it in the copy bin. Man, I, I really want that copy bin to come. Okay, I'll show you. Falling price copy banner, please. It probably won't be. It's gonna be like three thousand or five thousand each bowl. The uh, trace system probably makes the game even more pay to win than Kyrie or Shion. Yep. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I need a small donation first for my expenses. You this understand? fucking guy. All the other magicians here. <laughs> I'm happy to. I'm happy over here. You shouldn't anger a magician, Spyro. I just might decide to turn you into a blue hedgehog or something. Um... <laughs> Spyro, did you... Yeah. Very good. Uh, let's see. Hocus pocus ziggledy zen. Make this bridge get long again. Money bags is a real trick to making your money disappear. Ah, sounds like sounds just like Square Enix North America. I've been working on a great new magic trick, but this bear keeps spoiling it. Sure, that's a bear. Fucking beavers. This level also has another mini game I hate. Or it has two two little mini levels that I hate. One is another slide of death. The other is a Bentley level, where it's actual whack-a-mole. I suppose I... Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but my magic just keeps bouncing off. Lloyd? I don't know any Lloyds. <laughs> your dingle is a Uh, 
Oh, interesting. That might be the slide of death one. Well, I mean, it might as well go. Lose all my lives. You know, now, now that I think about it... You kill every enemy in 100% cage run? Oh crap. Oh my goodness. Fuck. Kill every enemy in a 100% cage run, or possibly Spyro game run, but the enemies are still around. Well, in Spyro, I don't know how they come back, but in Kingdom Hearts, I think it's because there's like trillions and quadrillions of enemies, so they'll always come back. As in, like, Heartless. Like, there's so many Heartless. Because people are fucking evil. Ah, uh, did I get that one? Fuck. I'm losing all my lives. I'm on nine lives already. Because <laughs> I wasted like ten on that other slide. That was close. The worst part is if you miss one, and then you have to redo everything. <laughs> Whoops, that was my bad. Accidentally touched the analog stick. Give me a one-up, please. God, that noise was awful. <laughs> Yeah, good luck, have fun we try. Hey, as soon as you get the gem, you have it. You don't need to stay alive. Fuck! Every time I die, you die, so you better help me, you fucking turtle. I like turtles. I told you this part fucking sucks, and if this wasn't bad enough, the Bentley thing here also sucks. Get it, please? Yes. Get them- Okay. Oh, fuck! I was at the end, though, near the end. <laughs> the same beat over again. Scrub game over. <laughs> I probably will game over. Turtle. It's just so sensitive when you're going so fast. You like tap left and then you go fucking 90 degrees. I guess it's 180. The point is you go hard left. That one was my fault though. Lost 20 lives already. Okay. 
Alright. Alright, almost to the part where I always fucking die. Yes. I see the end. There is hope. Oh no. Oh no, I think Sparks missed the gem. Right at the fucking end. Yep, Sparks missed the gem. I have to go back for that one gem. Eloise. Maybe. Maybe I don't have to. Oh yeah, out maneuvering the system. Well, this part's done. Fuck that place. We're going there again. Oh, that's the way out. But there's something missing here. Clever. Clever screw. Great, right, I gotta find the fucking key. Oh, there's the Bentley level. I guess you're next. One shit mess after another shit mess. Good evening, Spyro! The amazing Randini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. And before no I've death spiral, it's quite 100%. impressive. So I'm going to watch the show. God, does this level suck? It's a literal whack a mole. Sorry, I stole all your, uh, money for the tickets. By the way, is that true what I heard about Ticketmaster? Like, the- the fees for the actual ticket were, like, my magic show just as much as the actual the ticket price. They need a good bonk on the head That's to crazy. calm them down, and you look like just the man to help. This is why I don't go to band concerts or anything, because Ticketmaster will just rip me off. Oh yeah, if you hit one of them, then you lose instantly. Well, that didn't do it. Well, you can't miss at all, by the way. Well, you can miss a few times, but you can't miss like 10. Or else you're absolutely fucked. No? Come on.
Yes. Okay. Oh no, I hit the wrong guy. There's well, just no way you can do this in 20 or 50 seconds. A minute 50 would have been better. Okay, that's bullshit. He went in the wall. One, one well second and Look, 26 One minutes. of my friends dug up this whilst chasing the moles. Oh yeah, I'm the best. Hank, not to be confused with, um... Ah, uh, I don't know any Hanks. Ah. Uh. I don't know any Hanks, sorry. Man, still no, still no Mitchell peg. Still haven't found one. Feels bad, man. Alright, so I need all the gems. Yep. When the best Spyro game doesn't have a name of a dragon egg, that's your name. Feels bad. All right, from here. This part also sucks. You have to chase down that helicopter in order to get the egg. There's an easier way to do it though. If you do the swim glitch here, then you can easily get him. He's way faster. Got him. That was easy. Max! 17 chicken nuggets. Wait, it's not enough. Man, share some chicken nuggets. Oh, now it's on a time limit. The other one wasn't on a time limit. Alright, Sparks, where the fuck are the gems? This one. This is, uh. Ooh. Let's get all of them. All I need now is that key, which will be fine. Wish I could, but that's not how science works. Grace, not to be confused with that, um, uh, that character from Yu Gi Oh! Arc 5. Right? There was a Grace there. Sparks is that way. Now he says it's that way. Where's the key, though? Okay, well that's there, but where's the key? Sora, help. That's the exit. So why does Sparrow need all the eggs? Um, more eggs means more magic means you can access more areas, but I already have enough to fight the sorcerers. And these eggs were stolen from the dragon, uh, dragon realm area. So I gotta get them all back. 
Those dragons had like a massive orgy and out came about 150 dragon heads. But the sorcerer stole them so I gotta get them all back. Still not everything. I'm missing some over there. I mean, how else do you explain that there's 150 dragon eggs? They must have had like a massive orgy. Spark says this way. Is the sorceress the final boss then? Yes, the sorceress is the final boss. Alright, got everything here. So, I will end the stream here. On Friday, I will return to this. Tomorrow will be Dark Cloud 2, Wednesday will be Dark Cloud 2, and Thursday will be Dark Cloud 2. And that's good, because if I have a short stream on Friday, I can clean the bird's cage, and maybe catch a stream Nightblade. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. So, uh, thanks for coming. And, uh, goodbye.